Now I am going to talk about coping statement for dealing with anxiety, about anxiety. And this material I have taken from Albert Ellis Institute. Uh, and credit goes to Albert Ellis Institute. And uh, there are certain great ideas to reduce anxiety or change our self-statement or coping statement about dealing with anxiety. And number one, uh, a person who has struggling with anxiety, if he start thinking, convincing himself that I don't have to make myself anxious about anything or put myself down if I stupidly or foolishly to make myself anxious and start learning that my anxiety is bad but I am not bad. I don't have to feel comfortable and it is not awful when I don't feel comfortable. I can tolerate, I can bear with anxiety. It would not kill me and it is not necessary to be in perfect control of my anxious moments, to demand that I be in control only multiplies my symptoms. Others are not required to treat me with kid gloves when I feel uncomfortable. The world does not have to make it easy for me to get a handle on my anxiety. Anxiety is a part of life. It is not bigger than life. My overreactive nervous system is part of my life, but it is not bigger than life. I can take my anxiety with me when going places and doing things that I am reluctant to do. Controlling my anxiety is important, but not urgent. Comfort is nice, but not necessary. I don't have to be the one person in the universe to feel comfortable all the time, all the time. I would better not feel calm, relaxed and serene all the time. Because if I did, I would have one dickens of a time motivating myself. I don't have to hassle myself or put myself down for not coping better with my anxiety. Anxiety, this too will pass. This too will pass. If I feel anxious, I feel anxious, tough, however, I can tolerate it. I may have my anxiety, but I am not my anxiety. I don't have to shame or demean myself for anything, including created tight knots in my stomach. I can concern myself about my anxiety without being consumed by it. To be or not to be anxious is sometime not within my control. However, whether or not to make myself anxious about anxiety is within my control and it is option and it is choice. I will be more effective in achieving control over my emotion if I don't think I have to be perfect at it. In attempting to control my emotion, it is best that I leave some margin for it is better that I confront rather than avoid anxiety-producing activities 
lest I make myself even more anxious in the future. Purposefully bringing on anxiety can sometimes help to control it. I can push myself to do what I feel anxious about. I can go into my anxiety. I don't have to wait for it to come to me. Lighten up a little rather than tighten up a lot. I can welcome opportunities to expose myself to feeling anxious so that I become more skilled in accepting it and managing it. I am still standing, accepting my anxiety and undamingly accepting myself. Being disappointed about my anxiety does not mean I have to make myself miserable or disabled by it. Overcome, don't overwhelm. And my, my, my life does not depend on feeling uncomfortable. Thank you.